Alrighty then, welcome back to some more Ultima 6. In the last episode we captured the Shrine and Moonstone of Justice. And now we're going to head back to the town of Yu. Yes, there was a gargoyle explosion! We set down some powder kegs and we blew fucking little gargoyles to pieces. Which is what happens when you piss off the avatar. So don't piss off the fucking avatar. We have some sounds to the west. Trolls are back. to search them. It might take all day to get the fucking axes out of them. Shimino's the new gold carrier. Between videos, I went ahead and organized a bit. Alright. Alright, what we're going to do is give Shimino a bow. Shimino with the bow. As well as Iolo with his crossbow. Me and Dupree, we do the hacking and slashing. You can also see I did a bit of organizing. We have our magic item bag, our reagent bag, and our rune bag with keys. This belt that we got off of uh, the thief bitch in the earlier videos, we're going to need that later. Hang on to that. Dupree, of course, is carrying the skiff. He has an empty bag here. Let's go ahead and... Give Shimino that. That's our clues there. Yeah, but 1160 gold, 27 gems. I guess for now, Dupree can carry the torch. Now what we're doing now is looking for the woodcutter who is west of you, not west of Y-O-U, but west of the town U. He's sleeping. Some snakes. Past tense. Yes, there's plenty of food. 
Won't be running out of food anytime soon. This motherfucker is still sleeping. Camping in the fucking daytime. Hopefully the logger is up at this point. There he is. He's got a big double-bladed axe. You see a man as large as the trees that surrounds his cottage. Why are you bogged in my house? He shouts. Trying to get some fucking logs done, man. You can attack two, you can attack two spaces away with the Hellbird, by the way, and it does a shit ton of damage, so it's a good initial weapon to use. talk to him now. I guess he was busy fucking eating. We need some wood. You hear the my log? Five gold apiece. You still want one? Ben takes Shimino's gold and hands over a fine new log. He seems friendlier now. Ben, my name, my friends call me Big Ben. Surprises that you are what I have some. Sometimes it surprises me too! <laughs> have you never seen a lumberman before? Look around, those stacks of wood don't cut themselves! Alright, so make sure you get the log of wood. You're gonna need it for later. I got the room, bitch. Uh, well, I got the room, but I guess can't let him go. Anyways. On with the quest. Alright, so as you can see, the avatar has finally left, or finally reached over 400 experience we're gonna go back to compassion and level him up because hey we need the dexterity let's use the moonstone all right so use moonstone you want to use the moonstone right about here bam there you go Yes, I do. Ronstock, move. 
Plus three dexterity for Ronstock. Yay! And he's got 120 hit points like everyone else. And he can hit and swing faster. And he's cooler. And he's sexier. And bitches want to fuck him now. Yay! So now the party is all level four. Actually, Iolo. He is, uh... I think he's capable of going up. We want to give Iolo tons of dexterity because he's our bard. So Iolo's got another plus three dexterity. He brings him up to 30 dexterity. He's level five. He's got a fucking whopping 150 hit points. Booyaka. All right, now. From the Shrine of Compassion, we want to start heading east. We want to get toward the town of Minoc. I believe the town of Cove is also to the east. the doors are magically locked. Looks like they make a lot of wine here. You see a nurse, young nurse, with violet eyes. Leave these men alone. Can't you see they need rest? My name is Sasha. I, these men's wounds need time to heal. More wounded, I'll do what I can. She wants money and I'm not willing to pay. Armand, the vampire. Ah, Ranstak, tis an honor to welcome thee once again, once more to my humble village. How might I assist in see this fine afternoon? I am the Viscount Armand, and what is thy name? Ron Diesel, bitch. Well met, me lord. I govern here in Cove. Tis hard work, but people love me for it. We have such fine facilities here for healing, wounded, and the sick. A party of adventurers came here after their attempt to defeat the gargoyles at the Shrine of Compassion. I spoke with their leader when they arrived. Thou shalt speak with him thyself. He told of a strange violet energy field. I think mayhap this similar force which blocked entry to the shrines many years ago. The eight mystic runes were most useful in those days. Use the rune of compassion while chanting the mantra of compassion. Methinks this may negate the gargoyles' magic at the shrine. Ask Lord British's counselor, Chancellor Tholden. He can tell see the mantra. And like as not, he will also know of the room. Yeah, but we already know all the mantras and all that shit, so fuck you. The baby dragon. You see a dark bearded man in flowing white robes. Greetings, mighty avatar. For what hast thou come to my place? I am Rudyom. I sell magic books and reagents and teach spells. And what circuit dost thou wish to study? You have no circles? Are you fucking kidding me? Twenty gold. All right, we'll take it. Now I really don't need food, do I? I create food, you son of a bitch. Is 
Oh, I gotta actually have the money, I bet. Create food. So we'll let Iolo uh, I mean come on really look at this. We'll use the rest of that and then uh, we can start using the spell of course. What the fuck? Don't start fucking shooting me dragon, I'll beat your ass. Anyways, we gotta head through the mountains toward my knock. Guy can only teach level one spell. What a fucking ripoff. Kick him in his balls. Dead trolley troll. Kafiristan Pass. Which we need to travel through. Here we have a sea serpent that thinks he's badass. Hey, you better run, you little bitch. Cyclops, I want to get his ass beat around here? So I'd be happy to oblige. I don't see one.
not going in a fucking swamp without my swamp booties. God, I hope I don't have to go through this fucking swamp. He's fucking done. No sun, no time. It's 11.51 p.m. The clockmaker is not home. Shit if it's stealing, tell someone who gives a fuck. Thieving ass avatar. There's the honeycomb hideout. This is the town of Minoc. Let's look for the sawmill.
I go solo. Yeah, this is it. Just gotta wait for this bitch to get up. The priest and God. Oh, yeah, something. Oh, it's a bunch of killer wolves. Don't attack Shimino. That's not very nice at all. You see a plump blonde man with curly blonde hair and a cheerful face. Hello, hello! What can I do for you this fine morning? I need a board. My meal will make smooth boards and planks cut out of rough logs. Okay, well fucking make me one. I run the sawmill, is there anything I can do for you? I'm probably gonna have to have the fucking log in my possession, ain't I? Drop it. We need a board, so talk to this guy. Aye, I see Ronstock as a Yulau. He inspects the wood with practice eye. Good grain. Yes, I can make a fine board out of this log. It'll cost you five gold. Aaron goes to his saw and turns the log into a flat sanded board. There! He hands Ronstock the finished product. And thus we have a nice U board. Which is what we need. Alright, now let's return to Minoc. We are at this point looking for Julia. She's the instrument maker. You see a sturdy woman with callous hands and a loud manner. Wow! And the rumors are true! Tis very good you have returned to our land avatar. My name's Julia, I am my lord, and pleased to meet you. It's a meant to make the finest in the land. Not to be a modest, but I'm respected by all the guild. I had to give up all I would for the life of adventure like your own. Sent you to me today, I, I can believe that. Now the pan pipes are a tricky instrument. You gotta have the finest wood. If you want to learn how to make pipes, you'll need to bring your U-board. But it must be freshly cut. Do you have a fine U-board for me this morning? Ah, it's good wood. It is too, a fine set of pipes will this make. Julia sets wood down on the bench and starts carving. As you watch, the rough board slowly turns into smooth wood rods. Then she hollows out each rod and pegs them all together. Lastly, she notches each tube and cuts them all to proper lengths. That is, my lord, a set of pound pipes fit for any bard in the land. She hands you the finished pipes. Alright. So now we have the pan pipes, which we are going to need later. Who's this fellow? See a plainly dressed spot. Hello, Ron Stalk. My name's Gwenno. I've been away from our realm a long time. You say? Wanna join? Yeah, come with me. Okay, it'll be nice to spend some time on the road again. She runs over. 
hooks her arms around Iolo and they dance around. They're obviously very happy to see each other again. All right, so now we have Gweno. Another pack rat. We'll get her a bow and arrow and make her shoot and kill people. You see a woman on elegant Domino wearing a finely embroidery dress. Ah, my lord, Ronstock, famous avatar. Never expected to meet you in person. Tis an honor. I am Lady Isabella. The name, of course, is well known throughout the land. All right, folks. Well, we're going to wrap it up here for this video. And I shall see you tomorrow when I post another two hours of Ultima 6. Thanks for watching. Good night.